Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about how to register for the Florida virtual courses that are offered through Orange County Virtual. So here we have my HOPE class, and again if you need the Canvas courses, we have that in a separate video, but there is a link right here for Canvas course catalog. But for Florida virtual courses that we offer, you're going to go to flvs.net, and we're going to walk through this process on how to register. So here's their home page. Here's all the information there. So you see the button that says enroll now. We're going to go there. So the first thing you're going to pick is FLVS Flex because that will work for you because you are already in a school and you can kind of see the chart down here. There's homeschool and there's public and you're in a public school so you're going to go FLVS Flex for public school when it asks. You can click this button at the bottom or at the top. You're going to look over this information and then depending on what courses you're wanting to take, you're going to pick from the K-5 to the 6 through 12. Most of my students are going to pick from 6 through 12. You're going to click there. And again, most of my students are, let's say, 14 and a half and up. So we're going to talk about driver's ed and how to register for that. Um, so what you're going to do first is you're going to choose your county. If you type in an O, it will go down and drop to the orange county um, on the pop-up no selection tool and you might not see it because this doesn't always record the pop-ups but i am putting in orange county and i'm putting in public school um, it might not show those pop-up screens in this video we're going to see and you're going to scroll down and these are all the different courses that are offered uh, here's hope if you need hope here is the different language classes. So if you're taking sign language, we recommend you take it in the Canvas course. Uh, we have that link to that video as well. And then here's French and Spanish and all of those courses listed here. But one of the biggest ones is driver's ed. So if you're gonna click driver's ed, again, you have to be 14 and a half and it'll tell you that right now. And you need to be 14 and a half because when you get your certificate, you don't want it to expire before you can use it when you're 15. So you take this course and here's a description. It's a half credit course. It talks a little bit about the course. You're gonna say add to backpack. It talks a little bit about that. So we have the course down here and then scroll down to the continue button. Once you continue, you won't have necessarily a login already. You might, if you've already had a login for Florida Virtual and you've taken a class with them, you might have a login. But if not, you're gonna create a new account. So I'm going to use some fictitious information and see how far we get here. And I'm going to make that as my username. And you, know, you can see here at least three characters long and can only contain letters, at least one, and numbers. So make sure that you're hitting that. If not, that will turn red and tell you it's not working. So then I'm going to go here and I'm going to make up a password. And it does have to have the certain criteria. And so it'll tell me it has an invalid format because it has to have at least eight characters. It has to have uppercase letters, lowercase number, letters, numbers, and a special character. So I think I didn't have a capital. Let's see if that was it. Okay. So now my password meets, meets the requirements. Make sure you save this password somewhere because it is never fun if you need this password later and you don't have it. Save your username and your password. Write it down somewhere. Save it somewhere. All right, so then you're gonna put your email in and I'm gonna put in my work email. Which email am I gonna to use today? I'm gonna to use my school email. I'm gonna hit continue. And then everything here is required. So I'm going to put my information in. I have some stuff auto-filling, which is optional. I'm going to choose my grade as eighth grade. I'm going to say I'm a public school student. I'm in Orange County. Um, my district school ID, this will be your 480 number. It is great to put that in here if you have it because it ties all of your records together and it makes it a little bit easier to get your credit for the course. You don't have to put your social security number in, but if you are taking driver's ed, I would advise it because you will need that later. And then for school, you can choose your school from the pop-up. I'm going to choose, let's see, Meadowbrook Middle, and I'm going to choose my counselor as Miss Jackson. 
and I'm going to leave the student scholarship button blank. I'm going to put in my date of birth. So we'll say United States is already checked. That is fine. Primary language is English and you put your gender and then you can pick your race here from the pop down and then it's going to ask you a question here you can answer that and then you're putting in phone information so the first thing you want to put in is your phone number and let's say i'll put in my number if you have a number if you don't have a phone that's fine use your parents number here but this is looking for your information this is a us number and i'm going to say it is a cell number and I don't need to put anything here. If it is, if you are putting your parents' number in, you might want to type that in. And if you can get text, you're going to check that box. If you have an additional phone number, like a home number, you can click the plus button and add it. So let's put some information in here, and we're going to say 2750 Old Highway 50 Orlando. And then put your you're putting your home address in. You're picking your county. You're putting your zip code in and you're hitting continue. Now you'll see that all fields are required unless marked optional. So you want to put your parent information in. So this is your information first. This is actually parent guardian information. Sorry, we just did your information. You can see the check marks along the way. So here's your parent information. So I'm going to put in my parent's name and I'm going to put that it is my mother. I'm going to put her email in. I'm going to put that email in again. And if I don't know this information, it's okay. I can go back and add it later. I'm going to put a phone number in. No extension. I'm going to say that's a cell phone. And I'm going to say anytime is fine. If there's a time, you can pick it. And then address. I'm going to click use student address since it's the same. And then the information can be added later if you had, didn't have all the information. All right, so here we have the student account information entered, the parent information entered, and then I'm going to scroll down to that red continue button at the bottom. And then it's going to ask me how I heard about this. Well, for this one, I've told my students to register, so I'm going to say referred by teacher. What are your reasons? Oh, it's flexible. I can take this course around everything else that I need. You can pick whatever works best. I'm going to hit continue. And then this part here, I'm going to click I agree. You can read through it. And then the parent section is I agree and then continue and then you can see here's the course and driver's ed is only a one semester course so I'm gonna click semester one and then it's gonna ask me what school this is super important you want to make sure you're clicking Orange County virtual school especially if you're in a lab situation or a student with Orange County in a, any Orange County public school you don't have to be just Orange County virtual school you want to make sure you click that because that keeps your records and all within the county and your teachers within the county as well so if you're in a lab situation I can directly interact with those teachers um, it's going to be local to Orange County teachers and in the same um, time zone as well it's always going to make you pick tomorrow or later so if you don't want to start this course till June pick that date I would say pick a week earlier than you want just so you can make sure you can get started on time. Because like it says, 20, 72 hours. Because what will happen is your guidance counselor will approve it and then you'll have to be placed in a course when there's room. So for things like HOPE and things that happen over the summer, you want to make sure that you have your registration in early and then have your preferred start date. So you're going to click continue. You're going to confirm that you met any prerequisites depending on the course this one is seven is 14 and a half you're going to hit confirm and then it's going to ask you to confirm your school choice as long as you selected orange county virtual school that is what you're supposed to do and you're going to confirm and then you're going to hit continue all right so then that part is done i'm almost done so it's telling me to con to confirm everything again so there's the course i want i'm going to submit enrollment
And then the next steps, enrollment is almost complete. Courses are improved. So the next part is, like I was saying, you're gonna get approval for the course. Parents, you can set up an account here at this link. You can check your course status by logging into Florida Virtual, and then you can go. So what I recommend doing next is logging in. So that password that you just created, you wanna go ahead and click in. And you wanna add it here. And then you wanna click remember my username. I don't wanna remember that because I want my teacher account but you can click that and you're gonna click log in. And so it is not liking my password at the moment. There we go. I'm not gonna save that. And so right here, I am into the course. I, you might not get this screen, but because I have the screen, it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna go into a virtual school and then it's gonna ask me some more security questions. So you wanna go ahead and set this up all at the same time. You wanna say, what is your, pet's first name and then pick whatever works best for you um, pick an, whatever works whatever security questions work for you this part it's asking why you want to take the courses and you want to say whatever works for you it's um, early graduation grade forgiveness school assigned you know whatever for driver's ed course is not available elsewhere I'm going to click that, hit save. And now here I am on the dashboard. This is super important because this is the main page you're going to see pretty much every time with your courses. You'll then see the course that you signed up for. I signed up. Next step is verified. This is the guidance counselor portion where they will approve your class. Give your guidance counselor three days, 72 hours to approve that. And if not, you can reach out to your guidance counselor and ask them to approve your course. After that, it becomes where it is assigned. And this is where we see if there's availability and we put you into a class. So once you get that, you'll be able to enter your course from the same piece. If something changed or you accidentally registered for the Florida virtual version instead of the Orange County version, you can drop it and sign back up here. You would drop it here and then the three lines here, you could request a course again, okay? And that's the same way if you wanna pick any other courses. And then student records, this is also how you can change your account information here. So this is super important. So you didn't have that parent guardian information, now you can go and enter it here and you can edit things, okay? So you can see I put the information here, but I can add, edit that one or I can add another parent or change information, okay? So I'm gonna go back. This is where I'll see um, any of my previous courses as well. I can filter them, but this is the biggest part is I'm waiting for this information here. Don't forget that this menu has some of those items. You'll enter your course right here. And then over here, you'll see a mailbox with a number. That'll tell you if you have any messages waiting for you. So make sure you keep an eye on that as you sign up for a new class. All right, we look forward to working with you and seeing you in our courses soon. Thanks.